What's going on guys? So we just touched down in Dubai. We're currently here at this beautiful villa. I thought I would show you around. We've got the mastermind in just a couple of days and we've got quite a few things to set up, but I thought I'd give you a bit of a tour so you can see what we're gonna be working with here. So firstly, as we come through the entrance, really wide space, I feel like I'm doing a property tour. There's, there's so much room for everything that we wanna cover. We've got a lovely view outside there of the pool area. So this is just our sort of casual area. This is where we're gonna have the catering for the guys when we do the mastermind. So this is just the main kitchen area where I'll cook my famous scrambled eggs. So we have another space for a dining area where we can grab some food and I'll show you guys more of the upstairs. So this villa I think is for eight, eight bedrooms, eight people. There's some nice views out there as well. It's a lovely little complex that we've got. So everyone's got their own ensuite, which was perfect. I wanted this trip to be really spacious so we could film a bunch of content. Ideally what we want to get is quite a few podcasts or mini podcasts while we're out here. The goal really is to celebrate this milestone of what we've achieved. So look at this area as well. Like I, I love the design of this area. Also, we've got the office area here. So this is where I'm gonna be doing things like midweek market review, nice little space just to get some work done. As you know, we've still got things moving forward. We're at this business end of the year in Q4. So even though we're out here doing the mastermind, there's still so many things that I need to get done, other projects that I'm working on. So early hours in the morning, I'm gonna be getting up making sure I get that work done. So we can keep things moving forward. Lovely dressing room into another ensuite. This is where I'm gonna be sleeping. So let me take you out to the balcony. This is exactly what I visualized for the team. This is the kind of space that I wanted for us to be able to just create content, mastermind ourselves, go over you know, plans for 2024. Honestly, what Falcon has achieved as a community is only as good as the team and the team that we've got. I'm not surprised why we've been able to tick off these goals in 2023. And because where we're so aligned, and alignment is important, where we're so aligned with what we're doing and we've got that cohesion as a team together, it, it, a lot of the times it doesn't even feel like we're working. We're just, we're just creating. We're just creating this beautiful project that is changing people's lives. So I'm sure we're gonna come up with a whole bunch of ideas while we're out here as well. So love the view, love the vibe. I'm ready for it. It's gonna be an epic mastermind. What are you most looking forward to about the mastermind on uh, Thursday? Seeing what goals people are ready to set for next year, right? Being in an environment like this around people with the same frequency of thought, if you like, people are gonna be setting some big, big goals. And I think this, as I mentioned before, is gonna be the trigger to start uh, essentially in what is a new beginning for traders. Because when you're stuck in one environment, your, your thinking remains the same. You get out into a new environment, your thinking expands. So I'm excited to see the shift that happens in people's personalities after they come back from Dubai, going into next year which is going to be the sickest thing. And also to see as well, as a little challenge, who's still going to be around this time next year, because this time next year, people who are going to attend the mastermind here could be trading over a million. And that's, that's the goal eventually. So we're going to put in actionable steps for them. And when they do get to that stage, how are they going to sustain it and maintain it, which is the main thing, because what most people do is they make the money and then they give it all back very, very quickly. And one lesson that I've learned as well is that you can go from bottom to top, but top to bottom very, very quick. And that's something that people don't learn in a very short amount of time, it comes through experience. And um, yeah, we're gonna prevent that from happening definitely for these guys. We're going to be there, we're going to be celebrating success with the funded students and there's lots of things without our control. Yeah. That we, we can't control everything that they do. Yeah. We can give them the tools, we can give them the resources, but there was just this instinct that this would be the breakthrough year. Yeah. Like statistically for the traders, leveling up on a fund, whether it's our fund or separate funds, and it's happening. No, I literally remember last year when you were in there as well, you sent me a video from the, the sky pool. I've got it on my phone as well. Right, you played that video and you go, I guarantee you next year we'll be sat here having the conversation with the students. And at the time you estimated 10, there's way more, there's 20 coming now. So that's double what you estimated and it's actually happened, it's crazy. Ab Abdu's literally just landed now, so well, I think he's getting his luggage. All right. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's go meet him now. We'll meet him at the Dubai Mall. Oh, yeah.
Mark, what's the plan for today? Uh, Abdi's gonna race me in the Lambo. <laughs> Many people that want cars like this, right? They want the Lamborghinis, they want the Ferraris. They underestimate how important it is to get all the sensors involved. So I'll tell you a little trick that I used to do. This was when I wasn't in a position to be able to afford anything like this. I would go into the dealership, you know, get all the sensors involved as much as possible. But the thing is, you have to believe that you can, you have to feel it as if you already have it before you have it. You can't fantasize over the goal with the picture and think one day I'm going to make enough money to buy it. You have to make it as real as possible. This applies not just to the car, it applies to everything. So let's say, for example, forget about the cars for now, because it's just superficial stuff. You've got to apply the same level of detail to other goals. So let's say you want to be a full-time trader. When was the last time that you decided to take a day off and live out that life to whatever capacity you could? When was the last time you said, right, I'm going to book a day off and I'm going to live my life, I'm going to do my routine, go to the gym, and essentially live out, play that out as if this is my life. How powerful that will be, you will just be attached to the feeling that you would just want that as your everyday life. Right guys, so just a quick update. We've just stopped off for a coffee. We're over in Dubai, Coffee Island. We've already had a couple of these, so these are lovely. But I wanted to give you an insight as to what we're doing for today. So we're heading to the gym shortly after this, and then we've got, I've got a big meeting planned. We've got massive expansion plans when it comes to Falcon. I'm not talking just the next couple of years. I'm talking five, 10, 15, 20 year roadmap as to what we want to do as a project. We've been seven years in at this stage, well, seven years in on the 12th of February. And it's just very inspiring to be out here and the meetings that we're going to be setting up as to how this is going to play such a vital role for our students for the long run, right? And that's what we want to do. We want to give them opportunity. We've then got quite a few things to do to finish off with the mastermind. The wealth creation tactics that we're going to cover is really going to help these traders not just get funded and stay funded, but know how they can utilize that money moving forward. Because it's not just about making money, it's about how do you keep it and how do you get that money to work for you in different avenues so you can leverage things like assets, etc. So we'll be giving you a few sneak peeks, but super excited for it. Right guys, so we just got to the gym. This is the first, first time I've ever been to this place. But first time that we're working out together as a team. We've got the outdoor section there as well. Looking forward to it. We're literally on the brink of these traders hitting those levels where they can actually make this a reality, not go full time, then go back to work, full time back to work. Sustainable approach that's going to stand the test of time. We're actually built in a way that's not meant about gamifying prop firms. I think for a lot of people, they look at the few people that can pull off the gamifying and they try to emulate that. Whereas for most people, most people are not equipped to trade small stop losses. Most people are not equipped to have a 30% strike rate. Most people are not equipped to, even the idea of just going from no prop firm to seven figures. People are not used to risking $10,000 and seeing that fluctuate. Like, I'm sorry, if your average monthly wage is 2,000 and all of a sudden you're running 15K in profit, you're not gonna act normal if you've never done it. Whereas on the in-house fund, everything we've done, it allows you to go through each level. And with each of those levels, you get accustomed to it. You're able to go full-time properly and you never actually move backwards. So just heading out to the meeting, as I mentioned earlier, we've got huge expansion plans when it comes to Dubai, trading floors, all that kind of good stuff. And as along the way, you're gonna see more and more of this journey unfold on the YouTube channel and so much more. Hope you enjoyed behind the scenes. We've got much more to come, but the mastermind starts with our funded traders tomorrow.